Adventure. Now I'm Pudman on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Uh, Harry from Beyond Your Design. Nice. So, uh, Bloodstock, man. How fucking amazing is that? It is incredible. It's, I'm, I'm still on a, a bit of an adrenaline rush. Right. Uh, it's not quite sunk in yet, but I think give me, a, give me half an hour. I, I might be able to get my thoughts together. <laughs> and maybe not. You maybe, know? maybe not. Who knows? So... What was the road that led you here besides the road outside? Uh, so b- besides the, uh, the many miles we have driven. Right. From, uh, from down the road in Derby. So we, we are the, uh, the local band of the weekend. Nice. Uh, we entered the Metal to the Masters competition in Nottingham. Uh, so we went through all the heats of that, got to the final. And now here we are. Wow. Did you ever expect to get that far? Yes and no. O- obviously, we, we know how difficult the competition is. Uh, we we would never expect to to be winning it at the end. But what we what we said between the four of us is that at the very start, if we're doing it, we're winning it. Nice. We, we, we went in with I that like mindset. That attitude. Yeah, yeah. We we had our minds set on it. We knew what we had to do, and we uh, we got it done in the end. Nice. And there's a lot of like really strong competition, so it's not it's not it, it's not to be taken lightly. Is the bottom line that you won? Yeah, like. Every every single he there was a band that we thought, oh no, the, the, like the, the, these are the guys, these are the guys. Uh, so I'll, I'll give some of a quick shout. In the first he we came up against Bad Llama and um, Beneath the Shadows, both incredible. Uh, and we we thought, you know what, guys, it's, it's been fun. <laughs> uh, then in the semi final, uh, bands like Buried by My Heartache, who actually came to the final with us from the semi final. Uh, we, we 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 didn't know if we'd come out on top of those guys, but fortunately both of us went through. Then the final, all, all four bands, us, Buried by My Heartache, 13th Sign, and uh, Dead Demons, all put on amazing shows. It could have gone to anyone, but thankfully it went to us. I'm glad it did, because here you are. And, here we uh, are. Man, what a great festival to be able to play. Like, I do a lot of festivals. Yeah. Or none for an artist. I think this is one of the best. Oh, absolutely. Like we, we, we've, done, we've done a lot of the, the local underground festivals. Um, you know, shout out the likes of um, Unearth Festival, Derby Old Fest, um, Colville Metal Invasion. Like these are, you know, they're, they're on our back door. They're big local underground events, and we love playing those. We're we're headlining Colville Metal Invasion next year, so if you in the East Midlands, definitely come check that out. Uh, but yeah, this is the first time we've done something of this size, and man, man, what a show! What a show! Right, and, and how about the crowd? Like insane, right? amazing like to have so many people in that tent circle pits for every song like there, there's no better feeling really yeah describe that feeling when you're sitting there on stage and you're looking down at a circle pit oh i, I think it, it, it's easy to talk about it when we first walked onto stage like even just for doing our sound check like there's there's people at the barrier waiting there to see us and they're cheering when we're just walking on to do a sound check. It's like guys, just just wait fifteen minutes, come on. Right. But then we 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 um you know we got, got all our sound check done, went back off stage, pressed play on our on our intro track, walked on to like the loudest cheer we've ever heard, just smiling wow. faces. Oh man, it's the adrenaline rush from that. It, like it's it's amazing. It is absolutely. So now how you. How are you going to top this? How are you top Bloodstock Ooh. besides your headliner gig? <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we, obviously we'd love to come back, you know, to play the Yeg stage or the Sophie stage. Who knows, maybe the main stage one day. Like, we, we'd absolutely love to come back. Uh, so if anyone from, uh, from the team's listening, you know, just hit us up and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be there. But uh, we're, we're starting working on our debut album. That's going to come out next year, hopefully. That's going to be a, a big catapult for us. Uh, lots of tours that we can't talk about yet as well. Uh, and then just make the most of next year, go over to Europe, 
play some more big festivals and just have fun. Just have fun. That's all that's we want. That's the key. Yeah. How can you be in this industry without having fun? Like that's it, it's stupid. the entertainment industry, isn't it? Right. If, you, if you're not having fun, then you, you're in it business. for the wrong reasons. Yeah. 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 And it portrays. You know, if I'm uh, in your audience and I know you're not having fun, it's not going to do it for exactly, me. Exactly. Yeah. I've I've seen a lot of bands in my day. You know, they they're very they're very motionless on stage, looking down at their feet. It's like, come on, guys. Like, we, I know you're enjoying this. Show it. Give give some passion, and the crowd will give it back. And everyone will have an amazing show. I feel exactly the same way. Like, there's bands that I love that I've seen live. And I'm like, mm, and I probably wouldn't see them live again. Yeah. And then there's bands that I didn't like. And then I saw them live. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. That, that, that's that's like a really good thing about live music. You discover so many bands or you, you've checked them out before. It's like, yeah, it's not really for me. And then they bring it with the energy live. And it's like, yes, I get this now. Because it's a show. It's a show. It's entertainment. Yeah, it's a performance. It's, you you're putting out the the biggest, the baddest, the best version of yourself. And 100%. if you're not doing that, then g- give yourself a little slap. Look, yeah, right? look in the mirror. It's like let's let's go kick some ass and put on a wicked show. I love it. I love that attitude. I love that you do that. What's the craziest thing that's happening to you in this musical journey? Oh, oh. So it must have been April last year. We were playing a. Hometown headline show, uh, our favorite venue, the Hairy Dog in Derby. Um, <laughs> during the, the, the ending of our final song in the set, you know, um, guitar solos, some, uh, some big burly guy comes up to the front of the stage, points at Rob, our uh, guitarist, lead vocalist. He's like, get on my shoulders. So he's playing this guitar solo, sat on someone's shoulders. He's just walking around the whole venue. Uh, a couple of hundred people in there just, what's going on? <laughs> Wow, that's pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, that, that was amazing. But the the only thing that tops it is playing here today, seeing a seeing a, everyone out in the crowd having a good time. That's key too. Like you're having a good time, but it's also key for them to have a yeah, good time. And, and that, that's you know, it's fun for us. But if the audience aren't having fun, you know, then uh, again, what, what's the point if they're not having fun? And if they're having fun, you're having even more fun because of it. And it all feeds back into each other. That's right. What was that first moment in your life that you were like, this is what I have to do? Oh, that's a tough one. I, right? I, I remember sitting in the backseat of my dad's car. Uh, Rebel Rebel by David Bowie comes on. Whoa. Yeah, timeless, classic song. And that guitar riff that goes throughout the whole song is like, what is this sound? This distortion, this angst and angriness of the world. And it's like... I, I really resonate with that. And then just like, I've got, I've got to do that. I've got to play a guitar. And then just, uh, you know, throughout the, the however many years I've been playing guitar now, just improvement day by day, 1% every day. Yeah. And then, you know, it, it leads into stuff like this. Fortunately, I'm in a really lucky position. The music's now my full-time job. I, I work with so many bands in the industry, uh, work in live music, work with music venues, do photography. I'm playing my own band and... I'm I'm really privileged that I'm in this position that I'm in now. I love it. And I love that you're in all parts of the industry because you, unlike some bands, have some insight of what everybody else goes through. Exactly, yeah. You know, sometimes you don't realize, you know, what other people are doing. Yeah. And I think it helps you to be a better artist. Yeah, it helps us in our own band. I, I get to see other people's perspectives of it and their work environment. So, oh, that's actually really interesting. Let's bring this into ours then when I'm doing development work with um, younger artists, I, I've, I've got this experience, I've done this, I've done that. This is how you get to do this as well. Love it. So what do we want to tell the listeners about that we haven't covered already that they need to know? Well, we are available on all your favorite streaming sites, Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, YouTube. We've got some great music videos on YouTube as well. Please go check those out. Uh, social media as well. If you got your your Facebook, your Instagram, TikTok, if you're on it, we 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 do enjoy some cringy TikToks. So uh, feel free to follow us on there. Send us funny TikToks as well. We're we're always open to having a laugh with with anyone that follows us. So there you go. That leads me to a question I always will ask if somebody has a TikTok. What is your cringiest TikTok? Describe uh, it. So our our cringiest TikTok is actually the one that blew up the most. It's it's got half a million views on it. 
Uh, it's just Rob, our guitarist, lead vocalist, saying how you wear your guitar strap and what it says about you. And it starts really high up by his neck, and he just says, virgin. It goes down an inch, virgin. Down another inch, virgin. All the way down until the strap's down by his ankles, virgin. The next shot, he puts on a bass, gets bitches. That's so funny. It's cringy, but it's funny, it's entertainment, and I love it's it. got half a million views. Wow. Yeah. It's so funny you should say that because I think of Tom Morello and even was thinking about when I was watching Kill Switch the other night, I'm like, how do they even hold the guitar that high up? You know? Yeah. They, yeah. Bo- they both do it. It's like way up here. I'm like, how do they even play like that? It's it's really good for your wrist. Is it? Yeah. Because if you're you know, like this, it's really easy on your wrist. Whereas you're down here, you're stretching uh, more work on your that wrist. That makes more sense. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm looking, I'm like, that can't be fucking comfortable like i i played guitar i sucked but <laughs> maybe that's why i sucked but if i had way up there i'd be like how do i do this it's it's a different thing for different people do what makes you comfortable do what works for you if you were to pick one word to describe your music that's not a, a genre word what would it be nostalgia i like that yeah so where's your nostalgia come from? So we're we're heavily influenced by, you know, two thousands metalcore, likes of Trivium, Bullet for My Valentine, bit of Darkest Hour, Arch Enemy, it's a bit of a bit of an aggressive side to it. It's like you, you see so many metalcore bands these days that are all doing the same thing, playing in drop god knows what tuning, and they all sound like architects, wage war. But we we bring that nostalgic flavor to it. You know, you, you heard this twenty years ago. Now you're hearing it today again. I love that because, you know, what you said hit a point for me. It's like nowadays every band uses this algebraic equation, I call it, to make their music. And then nobody sounds different. Like, Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's wicked. Like, I I, I love, you know, this modern metalcore sound. I love a lot of the bands in it. A lot of them are friends. But it is all the same. Right? Exactly. And I like uniqueness. You take... I talk about this all the time. You take the big four thrash, none of them sound anything alike. Yeah. So that's that's why I want unique. I want to know when I turn it on, that's your band. We try to do that. Love it. Well, thanks a lot for being here at Bloodstock. Thanks for having me. And thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.